In this lesson, you will learn about the distributive property. Look at the model and find the total. Is there another expression you can write to find the total? Let's find one expression first. So this model is an array with an equal number in each row. So to find the total, you just multiply the number of rows by the number in each row. So there are one, two, three, four, five rows, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stars in each row. The expression to find the total is five times nine, and five times nine equals 45. Now, when we want to think about writing an equivalent expression, you have to imagine that a factor is a number and that numbers can be written as the sum of two smaller numbers. So for example, think about the number 9, which is our second factor here, and 9 represents the number that are in each row of the model. 9 can be written as the sum of two smaller numbers in a few different ways, but some examples are 4 plus 5 equals 9, 6 plus 3 also equals 9, and there are other examples, but we'll just keep it short. And now that you know that 9 can be broken down into two smaller numbers and added together, you can imagine a different kind of model where the number in each row is split at some point. So here, in this first part, there are 6, and here there are 1, 2, 3, 3 stars in this row. Now, if you break down 9 into the sum of two smaller numbers, you can find an equivalent expression, and I'll draw a new model to help you understand how. Okay, now I have a new model, and just remember that our first model, we multiplied 5 times 9 for a total of 45. There were 5 rows with 9 stars in each row. Now, in this model, we have separated out part of the number in each row, so there's a yellow portion and a green portion, and you'll see that the number of rows has remained unchanged, so there are still 5 rows. The only difference is we've broken up the number in each row into two separate parts. So in this first part, there are one, two, three, four, five, six stars. And in this second part, there are one, two, three stars. Now remember, we talked about breaking down nine into the sum of two smallers. OK. OK, so here's our new model. Now remember that the first model had five rows with nine stars in each row, and there were a total of 45. This new model has split the number in each row into two separate parts. So you'll see here that the number of rows has remained unchanged. There are still five rows. The only difference is we've split up the number in each row. So the first section has one, two, three, four, five, six stars. And the second section has one, two, three stars. Again, five rows here as well. So what you can do is you can multiply five times six. So I'll write that one under this model, five times six. And you can add this to five times three. These two arrays can be added together, and you will get the same total number as you did when you multiplied five times nine. Why is that? Why can you do that? Well, remember, we talked about the fact that 9 can be split up into the sum of two smaller numbers, 6 plus 3. So all we did here was break up the number that is in each row, and now we're going to be able to write an equivalent expression. So what you do is you multiply the number in each row by the number of rows. So 5 times 6 is the first part of yellow stars. And we add that to 5 times 3, which is the second portion of the model, the uh, green array there. Now, 5 times 6 plus 5 times 3 are going to give you, you're going to get two separate products. So what are the products? 5 times 6 equals 30. And we're going to add that to the product of 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. When you add these two numbers together, you have a total of 45. And look at that. That's the same number you get when you multiply 5 times 9. And it works that way because we wrote 9 as the sum of two smaller numbers. So this is really helpful because maybe you can't remember 5 times 9, but you know 5 times 6 and you know 5 times 3. 
Well, you can break 9 down into two smaller numbers and then multiply them by the number of rows. What you've actually done here is you've used the distributive property of multiplication. The distributive property allows you to break down one of the factors into the sum of two numbers. And then what you do is you find partial products. So a partial product is 5 times 6 equals 30 and 5 times 3 equals 15. And I showed you how to add those two numbers together earlier. Now, what you get is the equivalent expression. So the first model was 5 times 9. And our second model is the sum of 5 times 6 plus 5 times 3. And these two uh, expressions are equivalent because 9 equals 6 plus 3. Let's solve another problem together to further understand the distributive property. Find the missing factor. 11 times 6 is equal to the sum of 11 times 4 and 11 times some number. Now this equal sign here clues you into the fact that um, the left side of the equation will equal the right side of the equation and immediately you should be clued into the distributive property. And this is because you see that the right side of the equation is the sum of two products. Now again, remember the distributive property allows you to write one of the factors as the t sum of two smaller numbers. If 11 is being multiplied by 6 on the left side of the equation, then 11 has to be multiplied by two numbers that add to 6. So 4 plus this missing factor has to equal 6. 4 plus some number equals 6. Well, 6 is 2 more than 4, so 4 plus 2 equals 6. And that means our missing factor here is 2. So when you multiply 11 times 6, and then you find the sum of 11 times 4 and 11 times 2, these two sides of the equation will have the same answer. And this is the distributive property at work. Thanks for watching.